Welcome back to another episode of Animal of the Week. By popular request from the comments, this week's video is about the filiro, a sea slug that resembles a translucent fish with certus horns. Filiro is a genus that consists of two different species of filiro, Atlantica that lives in the subtropical regions of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, and Bucephalum that lives in the Mediterranean. You would expect an animal like this that has bioluminescence resembling that of a deep sea creature to live in the dark abyssopelagic zone of the ocean, but filiros actually live close to the surface, but they're still hard to find because of how sparse they are and the fact that they mostly come out at night. Normally, sea slugs will feed on small soft body creatures that live on the sea floor and are easy to find, but filiros obviously don't live on the sea floor, so they have to find pelagic soft body creatures to eat, such as their most common prey, the jellyfish. They detect their prey through the rhinophores, which are the long horn-like appendages on their faces. Once the jellyfish have been found, they deploy a toe-like appendage and stick onto the prey and consume them. This toe is what is left of the foot that ground-dwelling sea slugs the filiros related to use to move. Baby bucephalums have an extraordinary feeding habit where once born and only measuring around 2mm, they attach themselves to a specific species of jellyfish, the Zanclea costata, and act like parasites taking fluids and tissues from the jellyfish and slowly shrinking it while the filiro gets bigger. They can grow to around 10mm in 10 days through this method, and when they can swim, will finish off the remaining parts of the jellyfish. Filiros are nudibranchs, which means we assume they are simultaneous hermaphrodites like other nudibranchs. This means when it comes to mating, both filiros will show their penis and try to force each other to be the female. Once the eggs hatch, the young float around like plankton, trying to find prey they can latch onto and grow from. Filiros obviously have a lot of interesting adaptations. First and foremost is their fish-like bodies. The development of these fish-like bodies is a prime example of convergent evolution. The ground-dwelling sea slug has evolved the well-adapted and streamlined body of a fish to be able to feed upon jellyfish and other sources of food away from the competitive seabed where their relatives survive. Filiro are members of Dexiarchia, one of the main suborders of nudibranchs, making them completely unrelated to the fish they seem to mimic. Another glaring characteristic of filiros are their bioluminescence. This is a common sight in many deep sea animals that use the lights to attract prey, but of course the filiro doesn't live in deep dark water, so why does it have such colourful insides? Well, we don't quite know yet. All we do know is that it is one of the only sea slugs that can produce its own light. It is also able to turn the colourful patterns on and off, so perhaps it has something to do with mating. We haven't studied them enough to know for sure. As I said before, the filiros have long horn-like structures called rhinophores that they use to detect their jellyfish prey. Most nudibranchs possess rhinophores, but filiros can arguably put them to better use as they can travel much faster than their seafloor counterparts. The filiro is rarely seen in the wild, and so we don't really know what hunts them, but sometimes they are found with parasites, such as trematodes. The IUCN has no classification level for them, but we can assume that microplastics and ocean acidification will affect them in some way. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.